I don't know about you, but I think about algae all the time, and you certainly will be thinking about it probably a lot more after this segment. I want to show you this jacket in question this morning. This is a raincoat that is made from algae materials. So interesting. And we have the assistant professor here from ASU Charlotte joining us now. Thank you so much for being here this early. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. I do also want to point out that her earrings are sequins that are also made of algae as well, which is really cool. So you have the raincoat, you have the earrings, and then you also have a backpack too. Why algae? What, what inspired you to move forward with this? So I was interested in how we can decarbonize not just our energy and our fuels, but our built environment too. More than half of our textiles right now are made of fossil fuels, and they don't have to be. So starting from that, insight and that question, instead of making these polymers out of fossil fuels, could I make them out of what they were fossilized out of? Could I make them directly out of algae? And so from there began a series of tons of experiments, smashing together different technologies and techniques to try to develop a clear, consistent film plastic that's made entirely of a naturally occurring biopolymer. It's made of seaweed. It's made of macroalgae. Run us through the design process. How long did it take for you to come up with some of the initial designs to see kind of what we have here now? Yeah, so the process of uh, understanding the possibility and the concept, uh, the research phase of design is actually more substantial than may, often people who aren't designers give credit to. Um, so that was probably about six months of research of understanding the possibility. And then the actual sort of lab-based iterative experiments was probably another six months to get to like just sort of an MVP of like a clear material and a process for reliably producing it. And then... Uh, developing patterning out and like building the prototype at that larger scale was sort of another phase of a few months to get to sort of this proof of concept of the possibility of making alternative textiles that are made out of algae. If folks are watching this and you know they never thought really about what their clothes were made of or where their clothes were coming from, what, what kind of advice do you have for people as they're making choices about, uh, about where they buy and what they buy? So I would advise to get curious about what things are made of really at their core like where are the carbon atoms coming from in what you're buying there already are such a there's a large vocabulary of beautiful natural materials that aren't connected to fossil fuel extraction when you think about your cottons your linens your wools um, but there are so many exciting materials on the in the pipeline that are going to be coming out more and more at larger scales in the next few years even something like lyocell and tencel people don't know are made of trees mm. We can, we can be decarbonizing our materials and our textiles, what we put on our bodies uh, right now and more and more. It's definitely so, so interesting really to think about. We know an actual piece of clothing made out of algae in the store is something that's kind of a, a bit of a ways off. What, what would be the next step in making this more of a, a reality? Yeah, so uh, garments made 100% out of algae that's going to be probably a few years just with R&D, the development process around materials. But there already are some fib fibers out there that have a percentage of their uh, material stock that's coming from algae. So again, getting curious about what stuff is made of, where it's coming from, following the carbon. Um, we can do a lot to, to disentangle ourselves from our dependence on fossil fuels. Charlotte, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. So Scott and Olivia, the really the whole idea here is thinking outside the box and thinking what we can use to uh, make some of the clothes that we wear. I did ask to try this on, but it's a little bit fragile, so I'm not going to try it on. But maybe in 10 years, a little like first alert logo on here, a little Arizona's family logo. I don't know. I see it. I yeah, I'll wear it. I see right. that. <laughs> you got it. Dream there you big. go.